in this tutorial we will see how to create title block how to insert them around a drawing and how to make template from it so let's start so we want to create this title block so we will take a limit of 200 200 and then we will make a rectangle of 190 by 65 so at first limits then lower left corner 0 comma 0 upper right 200 comma 200 then zoom all z enter a enter then take the line command give the first point make ortho on then put the length of 190 and vertical height of 65 then track the point and click enter to come out so then 20 and this is 15 25 20 so we will offset it offset 20 from bottom to upper side again this to be offset on this side by 15 again this to be offset on this side by 20 again this to be offset on this side by 25 again we will continue with this 10 7 7 7 so again offset select this line so we want distance of 10 enter then select this line now we want 7 multiple times so we will choose this option multiple and put the length of 7 ok before we have to put it we will just escape it again offset distance 7 enter then select the line then choose the multiple option and come down and just only click up till it gets completely filled then press enter to ok still one more is required so again we will click out below press enter to come out then again from this side we need a offset of 25 then inside is 10 so again we will say offset distance 25 this line on this side and this line at distance of 10 put 10 press enter enter to come out then take trim select the cutting edges enter and click and form a window to trim remove the un unwanted objects this line is not required we can erase it erase select enter so in this way this layout is and one more line is required at 10 so we will offset it offset at a distance of 10 select object on upper side enter then trim cutting edge is this line enter this line to be trim enter then next thing will be here text to be written that is name of form so we will just write it down using single line text single line text give the start point then take the judgment of height by making ortho on suppose I want it to be of 6 height so I will give text specify height of 6 then is asking me for specify rotation angle of text so I will give it 0 enter then write the suppose name of form so whatever may be the name that you can write there then press enter to come out so you can arrange it by moving it so choose move select object enter give base point and give make ortho off by pressing F8 on keyboard and put it properly so if you ok alright then next will be the here we want to put name date so again we will take single line text give the start point then to take the judgment of height press F8 so height will be around suppose 3 we will be taking 
so 3 then rotation angle is 0 enter put name then click here date then click here the next is design drawn checked so we will design click outside press enter to come out just you can also move it by click once and hold down your first button on it and drag it so in this way also you can move it click then hold down first button on it and drag it so this has been properly arranged or you can also use the move command move select object enter base point make the ortho up by pressing F8 and arrange then you copy this down copy select object enter base point will be this one give the second point below points will be the second point press enter so designed then drawn check standard approved so I will here drawn just double click to edit once you double click then single click drawn check standard click there again click standard then click again click approved then click outside so in this way this is created press enter to come out again we will copy it here again copy select object enter base point will be again this point here for drawing number here for title here for scale and here for sheet number then press enter so here I want to write down just double click drawing number then here sheet one of one suppose click outside then zoom pan here again click title click outside click there scale click enter then you can move it select object enter base point and second point where you want so title drawing number sheet ok so I want title to be a uh, somewhat bigger so for that I can use suppose properties command from here so at first I will select the drawing number and title both I want to be bigger one so then I will click on these properties then I will increase the height of those suppose I want it to be 4 then press escape to come out and you can move by giving M also M select object enter base point so here I want the title I'll press enter to repeat the move command select object enter base point direction distance so here is the drawing number so in this way then close this then here uh, angle of projection what you are using as per that you can put the symbol suppose I want to create that symbol I will take the line command give the first point make ortho on by pressing F8 on keyboard enter again enter to come out and repeat the line command then track the midpoint and go on the right side click enter then create the circles give the center point and click freehand again circle click click then again line track the point don't click there just hold and go on the right side click again track it then I want a inclined line so I will make ortho op by pressing F8 so I will I again I will track it again track this point and connect it here enter then I want these two object to be center line so I will just go in the layer properties and I, I will create one layer of center line type to be center so load click and press C C first character of center okay and center okay 
close it then select the line and click here on the center layer press escape to come out so center line is created to increase the gap give the LTS command press enter and increase it to suppose 3 so it will be properly visible so in this way this title title block is ready so from this we want to create a sheet actually so if you see here there these are the sheet sizes for A4 to A0 so a, I will be creating a landscape sheet so A4 size is 210 by 297 so I will just offset it offset 297 distance so I will take this bottom line and offset it on upper side no actually I have to offset this line actually this line on this side and from this side to this side distance will be 210 to make the landscape sheet press enter press enter to come out then zoom all to view complete drawing Z enter A enter erase this line E enter select object enter then to connect this line you can use the fillet fillet click on both the lines and to avoid coming back to this fillet choose the multiple options so fillet will not end after one fillet it will continue using we can continue using the fillet press enter to come out so in this way this A4 size sheet is created so we can save it as a drawing suppose suppose exercise sheet A4 then save so from this sheet I want to create suppose A3 sheet also so I will just save it save as I will just save as to create a copy and give it a name of A3 then save then erase these two lines enter then for A3 size is 297 by 420 so again I will say offset 297 enter so again this line will go up and click upward then again this line on 420 so give 420 press enter to come out again fill it choose the multiple option and click on the lines so in this way we have created A4 and A3 size you just save it so in this way you can create all the remaining sheet up to A0 so this sheets has been created so now I have to use this sheet in some drawing so I will just close it so just then I will open some drawing suppose I will open this exercise 10 open then I want to insert a sheet here so just click on this insert button here insert then browse and take the sheet suppose E3 uh, object is bigger so E3 sheet can fit there properly open then ok and just zoom minus and pan and arrange as required and double click scroll to zoom extent so in this way you can arrange the insert the sheet and if you want to adjust the scale of the sheet then you can use the scale command scale select object enter if you want to increase the scale of the sheet give the base point then make ortho off so that you can view the messages specify scale factor if you want to increase the scale of the sheet then you have to give more than one suppose I want to make the sheet scale to be two so I will put there two so in this way you can increase the sheet size if you want to reduce it again scale select object enter give the base point and give the scale factor suppose I want to make it smaller then you have to give scale lesser than 1 suppose I give point for you enter so in this way this sheet is inserted around the object and as we inserted sheet using insert command same way you can insert here other object also using insert command just say insert then browse take the other object open ok and put it where, where wherever you want and again insert browse this object open ok 
put it wherever you want and you can if you want I have some problem with this xy then just shift it using UCS icon command press enter no no region you can arrange the object using move command move select object enter base point and give the second point so in this way you can arrange the objects as per your requirement when we insert object in other drawing actually a block is created so if you want to break this block into individual objects then you have to use this explode command explode and select the object then press enter so your objects will be separated so in this way we can insert the sheet now here we have we already had a drawing ready and around that we put the sheet and if you have a habit of starting the drawing in the sheet then how to do that that we will see so for doing that so I will not uh, save this I will just close it without saving it and I will again open the sheet suppose I want to open this sheet and uh, actually I want to create a template of this sheet then you have to again save 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 as click on save as then select from here AutoCAD drawing template then give the name suppose sheet A3 then save and ok so this template is created then to start using this template you have, says you have to click on new and click on sheet A3 and open so you can directly start working in A3 sheet so in this way you can use the template also 